What is going on YouTube? So today I'm going to make the most detailed and in-depth video I have ever made on my Jeep Wrangler. So to start, I'm going to go with a brief history of this thing. I bought it back when I was in high school. Uh, it's a 1993. It's a 4.0 and it's a 5-speed. I bought it with 198,000 miles on the clock, original engine, original AX15, and they both are all original and work perfectly. The engine runs super smooth and the transmission shifts perfectly. Pretty crazy for, you know, something this old and with that kind of mileage. But it's been super reliable and everything that's broke on it has been, well, pretty much it's all been my fault. And the only thing that's really broke on it was the input shaft and the transfer case and the rear end. And they both blew up because I was being stupid with it. But that has all been upgraded. It has a Ford 8.8 .8 underneath of it now and an SYE kit. So when you break something, you might as well go big or go home and just upgrade it completely. So anyways, uh, every time I post this Jeep on Instagram or Facebook or any social media website like that, I have people ask me all the time, Hey, what front bumper is that? What size tires? What size wheels? All this stuff. So instead of constantly, you know, just copy and pasting what I'm saying, I'm just going to make a complete video, which is what this is going to be, of me going around the Jeep completely. And to make things easier on people, I'm going to post every link to everything on this Jeep. So that way, if you want to buy the exact headlights that you see in this video, it's going to take you straight to those exact headlights. The only thing I cannot go in depth into are these wheels. I bought the Jeep with them. Uh, I've never, I've tried looking for a fifth spare and I can't find them. They're Ultras and I've looked up this model. They don't make them anymore. So unfortunately, I can't really go on the specs of the wheels that much. All I know is that they're 15s and they're 8 inches wide. That's all I can tell you. Uh, and they used to be chrome and I've painted them. So anyways, to start with the front, I reckon. Uh, this front bumper, again, like I said, I bought this Jeep when I was in high school, so I was working on a very limited budget. But I can attest the quality of it. It's been a great bumper. It hasn't rusted out or anything like that. And I've had it mounted against tree stumps and everything to winch other people out. So it's an E-Auto Grills. I got it off eBay. Uh, it came with the D-Rings. It's actually for a TJ. They may make YJ-specific ones now. I really haven't been in the Jeep marketplace, you know, recently, but this was like five years ago when I was in high school, and they had TJ bumpers really cheap. I bought it, didn't really have to modify it too much. I had to uh, drill out some mounting bolt holes, and other than that, it basically mounted right up. Uh, the winch is from Harbor Freight. It's a 12,000 pound. It's it's actually been a pretty good winch it pulls kind of slow but i've pulled a dodge ram 2500 out of a mud pit with it and it saved my ass countless times so it's definitely paid for itself and it's about three years old now and it's never gave me any issues actually whatsoever and again i'm gonna apologize uh about the traffic and the rain noise and everything i've tried to pull my jeep up as close to the house as i can to avoid that but i hope you can still hear me Anyway, uh, these cubes, uh, Lot Fox, they, I don't know if it's a wiring issue or if the lots themselves have went bad, they don't work anymore, I'm pretty sure it might be like a relay or something on my end that I've done wrong with wiring it, because I did kind of slap them on when I got them, uh, but they were pretty bright when I got them, they work pretty good, so... I can't really say they're junk because they don't work right now. I'm pretty sure that's my fault, but as you can see up close, I have some kind of perforated vinyl on them. Uh, that one's starting to, it's kind of bubbling up a little bit, but this one's holding on pretty good. These headlights, I've done a separate video on them. They're uh, O's Rams. There's some Amazon headlight I bought. They're dot approved. They're super bright. They have a great cutoff so you don't blind, you know, oncoming traffic or anything like that with other cheaper LED headlights like the honeycomb ones I used to have on this thing signal lights they're just that's actually plastic dip on the signal lights and they're clear housings and I just put a small coat of plastic dip over them uh, the signal lights will actually still shine through they're still visible 
these are Crown Automotive clear signal lights. They have not held up good at all. Uh, just screwing them in caused these uh, stress fractures and they've cracked. Uh, I paid like $60 for them too and, and it's pretty disheartening that you pay that much for something and you know they, uh, they don't last. They have water entry inside of them there and it's starting to get kind of foggy and it's getting a yellowish look to it. They used to be crystal clear when I got them. So again, uh, I would not recommend the Crown Automotive side markers. Definitely not clear anyway. I don't know if the amber ones are any better or not. So another top question I'm asked is the lift kit on this thing. Again, high school, work on a budget. This is a uh, four inch rough country lift. I have one inch lift shackles. So the Jeep has a total of maybe like five inches, give or take of lift. Rough country, quick sway bar disconnects. Uh, just keep them lubricated to spray them with WD-40 every so often because they do tend to get really hard to break loose. But I usually just take them off and I go wheeling and I zip tie the, uh, the uh, sway bar up or track bar, I mean. Uh, let's see. The tires are 33 1250s. They're Dynapro MTs. They, uh, I think they're about four years old now, and they still have pretty good tread. And like I said, I have about, I've put 50,000 some miles on the Jeep. These tires have maybe 30,000, so they're holding up pretty good. These side steps, I bought these on Craigslist a long time ago. I do not recommend them because they're already rusting. I think they're Westons, and they rust on anything, they're junk. These fender flares are Rugged Ridge All-Terrains for YJ, obviously, six inches wide. And I have one inch wheel spacers. Yeah, I know, gag, but uh, it gives it that perfect stance where you have just that little bit of poke from the tire from the fender flares. Uh, but they are hub-centric wheel spacers. And, you know, yeah, they're not the best thing out there. You get the proper back space in offset of your wheels, but you know, hub centric wheel spacers have torqued down and you use Loctite, they are safe. And if you constantly make sure that you're retorquing them when you rotate your tires and stuff, they're perfectly safe. You just have to be smart with that stuff. These are TJ mirrors. I just drilled three holes right here. Uh, I've broke this one before, lost a screw to it. You know, one day eventually I'll fix that, but this is a Jeep and I do wheel this thing because if you get really close to it, it has some trail rash, which the rain is going to kind of hide most of it. But you can see, this is not a, you know, a show Jeep or anything like that. It's, it, I, I do use it. It has been abused, and I have rolled this thing over. So, talking about, you know, a brief history of this thing. When I had it, maybe, when I first bought it, it had an aftermarket lift kit on it. Well, it wasn't even aftermarket. It was homemade, and the shackles were welded. I knew it was something that needed to be replaced, but I kept pushing it aside, and one of the homemade shackles snapped on my way home, and it pulled me off the road into a ditch, and I rolled the Jeep over. Luckily, it didn't do too much to it. It crushed, well, it crushed both fenders, crushed the hood, and as you can see right here, it crushed the grill, and that's the one thing I haven't replaced because it's kind of like a, you know, a battle scar, I think. It makes me, you know, people ask me about it. So it's a cool little story, cool little background about it. Uh, but I've replaced both fenders, replaced the hood. And the Jeep's been repainted. It's a uh, Lexus Knott's Armor Pearl is the uh, the name of the paint. It's like a dark gray metallic. So I just went all out when, when I flipped this thing and rebuilt it. I just wanted to make it different. And this is a poison spider hood louver. That's an AC Delco farm jack. I think I bought it from O'Reilly's, something like that. Uh, some auto parts store. KC lights, they don't even work anymore. These things blow left and right. They're overpriced for what they are, if you ask me. This is some 50 inch Amazon lot bar. I have the same perforated vinyl wrap over the lot bar. Now the rain's starting to pick up, but I can't stop now. Uh, and these are rough country light bar mounts actually 
Yeah, wire management looks good. Window tint, because I do get asked what percentage it is. It's uh, 20%, soft top 20% too. It's a soft top or soft top, it's frameless. They do not make them anymore, unfortunately. Uh, they're handmade in Boulder, Colorado. They're American made, so that's pretty cool. And they work with full steel doors, which is why I wanted it. So, yeah, that's bad news on the soft top. And it sucks for me because they don't make replacement parts anymore. So, moving along, on the rear of the Jeep, I have a, a Morad jerry can holder. And this is a jerry can. I don't know what brand it is. I bought this from uh, a vendor at the Great Smoky Jeep Invasion two years ago. And it's actually held up really good. I've been through like three of these jerry cans. All your Amazon ones are junk. The, the bottom welds blow out and rust. And this jerry can holder, it came with a, uh, a ratchet strap and it dry rotted and, and it snapped. So I'm using some kind of rigged up bungee cord setup right now. But this jerry can is completely full. So the weight itself is holding it down. The bungee cord just kind of keeps it from tilting. And this is my little ball sack as I call it. It's uh, It has gloves in it. So yeah. That way, if I ever need to fill it up with gas, because I've been stranded before because my gas gauge doesn't work below half a tank, and I was being stupid and didn't keep up with my mileage, and I ran out of gas. So these things, these jerry cans are really messy, especially with these uh, rear-mounted gas caps. So I have those gloves with me. And I keep them outside the Jeep because you don't want gas fumes inside. Nobody wants that. I just smoked these tail lights with a lens tent or whatever it's called. Uh, these are just some cheap eBay lens guards I bought. They've held up actually like, you know, most of them turn gray. These actually have kept their black, like glossy look. Like these flares, they used to be a glossy black and look how gray they are now. Anyways, uh... Let me uh, show you guys the 8.8 .8 that I have under here. That's something I fabricated myself. I was actually, you know, young and I bought a stick welder and everything just to learn how to weld and welded up my own mounts and everything to it. So I'm pretty, pretty proud of how that turned out, you know, especially with no experience with welding whatsoever. And I've got a two piece drive shaft and everything under there. It's really starting to come down with the rain now. But I think I've pretty much hit all the highlights of everything on the outside of my Jeep. And I apologize if there's something you're wanting to know and I completely overlooked it. But let me get inside the Jeep and we'll go over the inside of it and kind of shelter myself from the rain. So this is your, you know, it's pretty typical of a YJ. This is actually the cleanest it's been in a long time. I just have a bunch of stickers. Uh, let's get that mileage in here. Check that out. My dash cam fell off, but uh, it works. I always recommend everyone put those in any car that you own. Uh, I think those are just some replacement visors. My Jeep didn't have them when I bought it, so I think I've got them off Quadratech if I had to guess, not sure. And I had a Firebird formula, I stole the shifter from it, put it in my Jeep, so it's got a little piece of my old car in it. CB radio, I deleted the actual stereo because I don't know what it is about a Jeep, but there's some kind of water entry that's getting in there, I don't know if it's my cow seal or what, but it keeps frying my radios, so I just, I'm done fooling with them. And I went with a uh, Bluetooth soundbar. It connects to my phone. This is marine grade too, by the way, so it can get rained on. You can take it out in the trails with the top off, get mud on it. You don't have to worry about it too much. Uh, there's really nothing in here to brag about. I just have a frack extinguisher mounted right there on the roll bar, and I have uh, some cargo nets that go all the way around, and I have a storage cargo net up here on the top. I don't know if you can see it, but you can store stuff up there. So I have cargo nets all the way around. And 
I don't know if you can see that box down there. It's just like some external microphone that you can talk. I have like a external horn. They can do sirens and stuff like that. Uh, it was a Christmas present, so I figured I'd mount it in here. Oh, and this is my good luck charm right here. He was with me when I flipped the Jeep. And that's actually still the original mud on him from like five years ago when I rolled this thing over so that's pretty cool so there's some background history of this thing and this is one vehicle I go through vehicles left and right if anyone that's you know a uh, a follower on my account or has been a follower for a while you've probably realized I've gone through cars left and right this Jeep is one thing I think I'm going to keep just because all the stuff I've been through with it and plus it's really hard to find YJs in this shape Especially no rust on the tubs. As a matter of fact, I'll show you the frame. Let's get out here and get wet some more. This thing has a, uh, one of the reasons I bought it was the frame. And, of course, it's a 405 speed. But uh, this one had one of the cleanest frames out there. So, definitely snagged that up. And since I've had it, I've maintained it, you know. It has poor 15 rust treatment on it just to prevent it from getting worse. And here's this side. The sun is uh, shining a little bit on this side, so you can see it better than the other side. But, yeah, that's the frame. Yeah, it's pretty hard to find a rust-free YJ. So, like I said, that with the 405 speed, no rust. Really couldn't pass it up. This thing used to be a baby blue with a white hard top. And the guy I bought it from, he actually had it painted a Toyota Sparkle Gray. And when I flipped it over, I wanted to go back with the gray, but the Lexus color had more metallic in it. So that's why I went back with the Lexus color instead of the Toyota. It kind of, it's a little lighter actually looking at it than the Sparkle Gray, but. I still like it, it's a nice color. It gives it contrast when I have the, the black bumpers and stuff, so it doesn't all blend in together. Oh, I just now noticed this. I did have a radio antenna, but I must have broke it off wheeling or something like that. That's actually new on me, I just now noticed that. I wonder how long it's been gone. I don't even need to take a shower anymore. I'm soaked. But yeah, anyway, I uh, hope this answers a lot of questions. And like I said, I'm going to have all the links in the description. So that way, like I said, you like these headlights? Go in my description. Look at the headlights section. Click it. Boom. Right here they are. Go ahead and order them. Ship them your way. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to jump back in here for a second. Uh, I'm gonna do everything uh, as, even these cargo nets. I'll link these because I know some people Will probably wonder why I got those to put in their Jeep hood louver all the simple stuff like that. I'm gonna have a link But uh, I figured I was gonna make this the most in-depth video I have ever done uh, And of course I never gave a background story of my Jeep. So this is the first two so uh, Yeah, anyway, I appreciate you guys taking the time to sit and watch all of this and I hope this video helps some people out with uh, upgrading their Jeep Again, thanks for watching.